Oh no, but it's only there. And we're going back to some more The Dream Machine, chapter 6. So, we're in the apartment building. We just went down these stairs, or we fell down. We're gonna see what we find in here. Okay, so Mr. Morton's office is gone, where the Dream Machine was. Black void stretches as far as I can see. Okay, anything in here? It's letterboxes for the state. I don't need anything from them. Pick up coat hanger. Okay, and let's see. Okay, what happens if we go into the elevator? Can I go down to the basement? I can. Okay. Can we use this with this? No, okay. We can't. No locks or handles in that thing. <laughs> oh. They're all, um, off. The motors have been turned off. <laughs> Nothing happened. We don't need more gas. Alright, anything else? Let's look at this map. This is Mr. Morton's map of the dreamscape. I don't know how accurate it is, but a map might help me get to the center of this place. Pick up. Look at map. Look at <laughs> look at me up. Uh, okay. This map of the collective dreamscape. It's where we go when we sleep. Examine note. Martin Willard. I just purchased his dream. Selma Theed. I just purchased her dream. So they were here. Edie were here. It was here. Alicia Neff. Okay, so it's just this one left. This piece is blank, except for the big question mark. My child is somewhere at the center of dreams. Oh, like a castle and things. Alright. Let's leave. Let's pick this up, I guess. There we go. Go out. Let's see, going into the machine room. Or is this a void here? <laughs> okay. The black void stretches as far as I can see. Okay, nothing more to do here. Alright, let's go up. Let's go outside the state and see what we can find there. So I went ahead and increased Victor's walking speed. Now he's like a f like flash. He's super fast. Oh! Ah, so that's where the lifeboat ended up. Examine lifeboat. Can we, um... Where did this come from? Enter it. Guess there's only one way to find out. Up and up we go! So I guess we can go back down later. I mean, if you missed to pick up the coat hanger, you might have to go back and pick it up. Okay, so I wonder where, why, uh, where we'll uh, end up. Oh no, not the ship! Oh my god. This was Alicia's dream. She was like the captain. Oh, and I had to do the goddamn tomato. To find tomato juice for the Bloody Mary and the, the light beam. It's the ship from Alicia's dream. How do you get here? Open lid. Cons it contains equipment for the lifeboat. Boxes of emergency rations and a fishing rod. Pick up fishing rod. Pick up emergency rations. <laughs> Wait a minute. These boxes are empty. Somebody's eaten all the rations. There's only one me measly crumb. Uh, 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 crumbs. So what did I pick up? Crumbs or the package? Crumbs, okay. Alright. Bamboo pole. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Cabin th 3. <gasps> yeah, it's a radio. Oh my god. So like, oh, this chapter is like all uh, nostalgic trips to the previous chapters. It's a standard issue radio receiver. I used the modified version to locate the personnel roster. That feels like a long time ago. <laughs> it sure does. Let's see if anyone's, anyone's here. Engineering. Engineering department. Hello, I'm Victor Six. I'm calling from command. What can we do for you? The captain just ordered that we stop. Affirmative. Engineering is full stop, sir. Let's see. Kitchen. 
Kitchen here. Sorry, wrong number. Psych, that's the wrong number. Well, uh, okay, don't look this walk in, dude. Cabin one. Water, water. Beds. Okay, let's just go out of here. As you go to the bar. No one's here. Can I pick anything? I know but of liquor. Okay. It's a dumb way to it's used to send things between decks. Let's see anything in here? Empty. I'm gonna go in here. To the captain's quarters place. Yeah, I remember this place. If I can take command of this ship, I might be able to steer closer to the center of the dreamscape. Oh, we're getting smart. I can use this wheel to steer the ship, but that anything doesn't seem to be running. Oh, okay, so let's see. Intercom engineering. Right, let's see. Full steam ahead. That's going to be a problem, sir. We come completely out of fuel. This ship isn't going anywhere unless we refuel. Re 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 okay, enter cold room, I guess. Can't believe I'm doing this. Go down. Why can't you believe it? Oh, oh yeah, oh no. Oh, now I remember this place. All the corpses. What's the matter? Left a bad taste in your mouth? Who said it? I did. Your friendly bartender. Remember me? You're still alive? Technically, no. <laughs> Does it really matter? They don't lie. We just, we're all equal down here. That's why I like it. We like it. There's no pressure. No competition. You can just be yourself <laughs> and just lying there rotten on other corpses with no fear of being replaced. Say, why don't you join us? Be yourself for a while. Take the load off. It's actually pretty cozy down here. Once you get over the smell. I don't think I ever will. At least we're warm and soft. Don't be a stranger, lie down anywhere you want. A few minutes rest will clear your mind. I'd rather not. Not fast enough for you? Not enough stars in the guidebook? Or is the com company disagreeable? Is that what you're trying to tell us? It's not that. I have to get this rust bucket up and running again. I need to get to the center of the dreamscape. That sounds like a lot of responsibility. Did the captain send you? Have you seen her? Did she mention me? No. I'm here on my own. That's a funny way to phrase it, considering the <laughs> circumstances. You think you're funny, do you? A real comedian? No. Same. Who are you anyway? I don't see a badge in your uniform. That's a great deal violation. I was Victor Six once, but that was a long time ago. You've been reassigned since? You've been promoted to command? And now you think you're better than us. Is that what you're trying to say? No. Just because you got promoted doesn't mean you're better than us. Just because you still have a pelvis. <laughs> oh, pick up corpse. So, okay, so they're just gonna keep. Okay, we're gonna put. Okay, we're gonna put them in uh, the cold chute. Okay, open cold chute. There's no fuel in the furnace. Yeah, I gotta put in the. <laughs> God, grim. But it's the only source of fuel I have. Can we pick up those people talking? Skeleton. This is going to take a while. Oh, okay, okay, okay that's just did it from, from. Oh my god, everyone! Everyone! He. All of them! Damn, dude. That's hot. Ah, my. That was a grim. Very grim. Close. Right, let's go up. Yeah, dude. All right. Full steam ahead. All right. Full steam ahead. Affirmative. Full steam ahead. Steer ship. So, where do I want to go? 
I want to go here. Tra travel to Edie's dream. I mean, that would be cool, but I want to go. I need to go here. Maybe we should just go here to see if what I find. Right? Or maybe I have to go back to these places eventually. I don't, I'm just going to go here. This setting should take me to the center of the dreamscape. Is that where I want to go? Yes. Kind of want to investigate this, but yes. All right. Let's go. According to the map, I'm right on top of the center of the dreamscape now. I better stop here for the long time being. Okay, stop. And we stop. Alright, so I have to go down to the lifeboat, I guess. And then go down. Disembark. Alright, so let's see what it looks like at the center of the dreamscape. Going down, down, down. Down, down, down. To the center of the dreamscape. Whee! Keep all arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Whoa, <laughs> okay, this is trippy. Let's see, what do I have on me? A lot, okay, a lot of things. The center of the dreamscape, I finally made it. Guess I'll have to explore the rest of this place on foot. Good thing I have Mr. Morton's map, so I can travel the dreamscape quickly. What would have happened if I didn't have it? Let's see, okay, there's only one path. Where am I? Let's see. Oh, here. Okay. Sam skeleton. A badly decomposed skeleton lies in the underbrush. Dry bones are all that remain of whoever it was. The skeleton's left hand is clutching a dirty scroll. Uh, take the scroll. There. He held on to it until the very end. I wonder why. The scroll is waterlogged and will tear easily, but I might be able to unfurl it if I'm careful. Careful. Careful now. There we go. That's odd. This looks like my handwriting, but I can't recall drawing this map. Okay, so this is where I went. There was a patch here. It's gone now. Odd shapes. North. Have I been here? Mushrooms might be edible. <laughs> okay, no. Don't eat the mushrooms. Alright. So this is north and this is towards the mushrooms, I guess. Path, path, path. Okay, let's go here. Oh, what kind of place is this? I've seen anything like it. God, here? Hello? This moment, my child. Oh great, another one. Let me guess. You just got here, right? I suppose to. So, how? My boat has used Alicia's cruise ship. Same here. A lot of us go for that. Oh sh is that a, like an old go Victor that's an old Victor Neff? Who are you? I was just like you once. Confused mess. Came here looking for our child, but along the way I discovered my true purpose. What purpose would that be? To transcend, of course. Transcend? What else would you call it? I was a man, but now I'm God. The Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, all at once. I knew you wouldn't understand. You're just like the rest of them, a bitter and envious pleb. How long have you been here? Five years, maybe. I lost track at us this point. It looks more like five decades. Really? Has it really been that long? I'm afraid so. Well, I consider it time well spent. It's been a remarkable supreme being. I've changed lives. I've made dreams come true. I have to go. A lot of us. You're not the first victor to make it here, and you won't be the last. <coughs> New victors come here all the time. 
trying to challenge me. Like puppets snoring at the feet of the elf dog. Save yourself, Ifer, son. It won't happen. Why would I want to trouble you? You're vying to the go be god, of course. Just like the rest of them. You can't wait to replace me, can you? But I've already been god, dude. I am god. You want it so bad you can taste it. You look pretty topple already. That's blasphemy. You should address me with solemn respect. After all, I'm the one true god. Whatever you say. Leave me. I've got a universe to run. Looks like the phone I used before. It has a number on the front. Read number. 555-155-1381. Okay. See what happens if I use it. Give me pause of that. That's a divine instrument. All right. Okay. Let's follow this path. Oh. Okay. That's weird. This room seems all to me familiar. Have I been here before? Hello? Hey, buddy. Would you mind getting out of the uh, way? I'm trying to watch a movie here. Oh, sorry. Is this better? <laughs> That's fine. Just pipe down for a second. This is my favorite part. Here, watch this. Okay. Oh, man. Gets me every time. Now. What can I do for you? Who are you? Isn't that obvious? We're the same person. How can there be more than one of us? Somebody wished me into existence, just like I wished you into existence. What are you talking about? Nobody wished me into existence. You said it yourself when you came in here. You said this place looked familiar, did you not? The stage, the prompter box, the emergency exit. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean... You recognize it because you've been here before. It probably looked a bit different. And you must have been pretty confused at the time. But I made you appear right there on stage. That's not what happened at all. No? You didn't suddenly... Oh, crap, something. <laughs> you didn't suddenly appear on the stage or something. No. I was on stage, but I didn't take part in any recreation. Oh. Must have been some other victory then. You young turks all look alike. What can you tell me about this place? You're at the center of the dreamscape, kid. This place is like an amplifier for the mind. It makes, us, it makes wishes manifest. How does it work exactly? It's simple. You make a wish, and voila! Your wish comes true! Look at this. Look at the empty beer bottle in my hand, for example. What about it? Look very closely. An exam! It's not empty anymore. Most impressive. Would you like one? I'm good, thank you. Is this what you do all day? You make it sound so trivial. This theater can show me anything I want. And any half the movie I've ever seen. Any memory I care to experience again. I've, and I've got an endless supply of beer to wash it all down with. Everything a growing boy needs. How do I find our child? Just let it go, kid. Let go of our child? Best thing I ever did. Trying to save that little brat was a complete waste of time. What about everyone else in the house? They're at risk as, at well, as well. What did they ever do for you? But Alicia... Alicia was just holding us back, man. I can see the clearing now. Marrying her was the worst mistake of my life. I'd be a rockstar now if I hadn't met her. Take my advice. Let all that nonsense go. Be a free man again. I'm not sure I can do that. You will. Once you've been here long enough. Trust me. Alright, screw that guy. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode right here. I don't know what the hell is going on in this place. It's like there are several versions of me, Victor, and they all have their different dreams and wishes coming true. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Get us over. I wish you the finest day, my dudes. And I'll see you next time. Hasta luego.